Hi everyone, this is Stefano Bellasio. Thank you for joining us for this webinar. Today we are going to talk about Cloud Academy for Teams. That is our version of Cloud Academy dedicated to companies and teams that want to learn more about cloud skills. So before I can show you my agenda, I want to give you a few more information about me. So I am the CEO and co-founder at Cloud Academy. Before Cloud Academy, I used to work in the web hosting industry. So basically I spent a lot of time dealing with sharded hosting, dedicated servers, a lot of things that I guess uh, a lot of our users and customers today already know. And then basically I saw the cloud computing uh, revolution coming and we decided to start Cloud Academy. I am Italian. I spend half of my time in San Francisco, where we have an office, and half of my time in Switzerland, where we have another office in Europe. And about my passions, of course, I love cloud technologies. I love entrepreneurs. I really love coffee and probably drink too much of that. And I'm a cat person. So that's really a small introduction about myself. And if you want to reach out or uh, give us some suggestion, you can find here my Twitter my Twitter account, so at Stefano Bellasio, and I'm super uh, happy to get suggestion and feedback about this webinar and about Cloud Academy. About our agenda today, so uh, we are gonna stay together for 30 minutes, so I promise I don't want to be long and, and, and bore you guys, but what I'm gonna show you is basically why we started Cloud Academy and what we are seeing uh, about Cloud Academy in today's market. Uh, a brief introduction about our customers. So what I want to show you is actually how our customers are using Cloud Academy and who are they. Uh, then we're going to talk about Cloud Academy for Teams. And in this case, I'm going to present you all the functionalities included in Cloud Academy for Teams. And after that, a live demo of our, of our solution for Teams. Uh, in the last two points, we're going to talk about what's next for Cloud Academy for Teams. As you know, Cloud Academy has a big roadmap and like for our general product for the entire platform, we do have a, quite a busy roadmap also for this version of Cloud Academy. And the last point, of course, I'll talk to you more about pricing, resellers, and of course, I'll be happy to receive your questions about this webinar, about other information on Cloud Academy. So let's talk about our customers for a minute. Uh, today, we basically serve uh, a, few, um, a few different types of customers. Most of them are professionals, so we usually see developers, system administrator, uh, in general, people that are in the IT industry that are using Cloud Academy for a couple of reasons. They want to learn more about cloud technologies, and so they start Cloud Academy uh, learning more about cloud and eventually learning about different platforms like AWS or Azure or we have people that are using Cloud Academy to keep their skills up to date. So a lot of them are joining us to keep their skills up to date with AWS or with Azure because you know better than me that they are always changing and always releasing new features. Then we have another type of customers that are enterprises and companies, and that's really the focus of today's presentation. And it's really interesting in seeing how they use Cloud Academy. So uh, a lot of them are distributed multinationals and they use Cloud Academy to onboard a lot of their members uh, on a global level and train them on everything that is cloud. So for some of them, it's really about passing a certification. For some others, it's really starting a new project and getting all the skills that they need in a specific cloud environment. And of course, as I told you before, for our professional is really about staying up to date. So we see a lot of that also uh, uh, among our enterprise customers. Uh, the last couple of customers that we see today at Cloud Academy, and I'm really happy to have them as well among all of them, are actually universities. So it's not a, it's not a secret that actually a lot of, of our students, a lot of people in the university are using cloud computing. And of course, like all the other customers, they really want to uh, find the secrets to use something like AWS or to build infrastructure inside a cloud computing environment. The last category is about consulting and technology partners. So a lot of them, of course, are 
daily are daily working on on cloud computing they are helping customers they are helping lean clients moving to the cloud or working inside a cloud computing platform and the way they are using cloud academy is basically helping their employees helping their consulting inside uh, their companies staying up to date with all the skills or passing certification in order to provide the best services to their customers and as you can see i put here a few of the companies that are using Cloud Academy today. We have big names, we have small companies, and as I said, we have thousands of professionals worldwide that are using Cloud Academy for different reasons. So why we started Cloud Academy? Uh, we started the company almost three years ago, and at that time, of course, cloud computing was a really uh, revolution in the market. But in this slide, you can really find the reason why today cloud is really a thing and it's really you know, the next big revolution for IT. So 93% of the organizations are already using cloud computing today. And that's of course a mix of public cloud, public and private, sometimes private only, but that's really the reason why we started Cloud Academy. So being able to teach people how to use the cloud in general. And one of the things that is important for us is being vendor independent. So making sure that, of course, we cover the most important vendors in the market and we are able to teach our customers uh, all of them. So not only AWS, not only Azure, because we see a lot of potential, a lot of opportunities in being able to speak all these skills for a professional in today's market. And why you like courses? So when we started Cloud Academy, we actually started with quizzes. And at the end, we uh, added also courses and laboratories. So we created an experience that is really complete and interactive. A lot of people and companies that are using Cloud Academy today are doing so basically because they can get access to Cloud Academy whenever they want. So uh, 24, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And that's really powerful because they can use Cloud Academy for 10 minutes to consume some quizzes, to consume a course, or even to complete a lab. And honestly, we see a lot of activities, for example, during the weekends, when people, of course, have much more free time and they can use Cloud Academy to learn or to stay up to date with the last uh, courses. So a quick recap on what is really a differentiator for Cloud Academy. First of all, we are vendor independent. And let me spend you a couple of minutes on this. It means that basically today we are focusing on AWS, on Azure, on Google, on DevOps technologies. But in the long term, we really want to select the best content for our customers. And of course, for us, building content is a, is a serious thing. And so we usually produce a content model for every platform that we have inside Cloud Academy, and we try to keep all of that up to date month over month in order to make sure that we are offering the complete overview about the cloud industry to our customers. Every month you also have new content and updates, so you can make sure that the courses that you're watching today uh, will be updated in the next month, and you will have new content every month that could be like um, uh, more uh, a deep understanding on something that we already shown or something new that could be more practical oriented. The last points uh, are very important. So first of all, we think of cloud computing as something that is continuous training. Uh, I think that you know better than me that uh, someone like AWS is releasing new updates every month. So they are continuously changing on one side their products and on the other, they are continuously launching new products. So that's really important for someone that is working in this industry and working with cloud computing every day, like our customers, to be able to keep up with all the skills. So making sure that they can use Cloud Academy to learn about the last service launched by AWS or by Azure. And of course, making sure that they can use something like Cloud Academy to compare all of them. So if you are really passionate about AWS, but don't know, uh, about Azure, you can actually keep up with Azure as well in the very same platform. And the way to do that is basically tracking and measuring your progress. So try to understand with our quizzes, for example, what's your level today? What's your uh, knowledge level today? And of course, measuring all of that, looking at the cloud rank, that is the system that we use 
internally to measure that, and also you know the number of courses and labs that you complete. And one last point is really about the experience. So we we know that people learn in very different ways. So not everyone likes courses, not everyone likes quizzes or only labs. So we created something that have all of them. So you can start with a quiz, then you can move to a course, or you can use something that is much more practical. So you want, for example, to um, launch an instance or understand how to uh, create a VPC inside Amazon. And you can do all of that inside your browser with your uh, Cloud Academy membership within our labs. Moving to Cloud Academy for Teams. So we design a solution that is basically um, targeted to companies and small teams. So it could be a team of five people or 500 people that really want to use Cloud Academy in a shared way. So you can create your organizations inside Cloud Academy. You can personalize uh, your control panel with your logo, with your company logo. Then you can create different teams. So we thought that maybe a company could have a DevOps team, an engineering team, a security team, and they could probably have different managers. So you can create all of them inside your organization in the control panel. Everyone, as soon as they get the access to Cloud Academy, get also access to 100% of our content library. That means that every time you invite someone in your team inside your Cloud Academy organization, they can immediately get access to everything that is quizzes, courses, and labs. And most important, you can track Everything that they do as a manager or as a general manager, we'll see more in our live demo about these roles, you can track everything they do. So you can see, for example, if your team is really preparing for the AWS certifications or if they are completing more quizzes or more courses. And of course, uh, since we know that a lot of our customers really want to share this, that data inside their companies, we allow you to download reports and statistics. So you can always get all of them from your uh, Cloud Academy account. Finally, for everyone that wants to use Cloud Academy, even when it's not online, you can download all our courses. So basically, whenever you're watching a new course as an enterprise account, you can download that course on your computer and make sure that you can complete that even when you are offline. Let me show you Cloud Academy for teams. So as you can see, this is Cloud Academy. I have my company here. In this case is of course an example and I have my control panel. And this is actually the main screen about my company. As you can see, it is called Management Dashboard. I have my organization. I can invite members, reports and analytics, settings, and of course, uh, help support. So the first thing that you need to notice is actually that I have a few teams here, in this case, seven teams. And for each team, I can assign different people. In this case, for example, for my DevOps team, I have a manager, Fiona, and I have uh, 25 members included. For each team, I can modify the name and description I can actually see who is included in that team and modify that. For example, I want a new team manager or I want to add Anna as a team member. And of course, I can see immediately all the changes. So in this way, you can basically invite people in every single team and make sure that you can have a team manager for each of them. But we'll see more about that in a minute. If I want to create a new team, it's really easy. I can call it Switzerland, for example, or maybe I already have that. I can call that uh, support for my support team, confirm. And immediately, the system is asking me to invite people in this team. So for example, I can look for someone like Layla, select her as team managers, and of course, keep adding members inside my team. As soon as I do this, actually all the uh, modifications are immediately, so I can go back to my organization 
and see my new team with Layla as a manager and six members inside it. So something that is important about teams is actually that you can see what's happening inside a team. So for every single team, I can see their consumption in terms of courses, uh, certification preparation path, laboratories, and quizzes. So I have the total time span, the consumed content, the correctness of that team uh, regarding our quizzes, and of course, the uh, amount of time spent inside Cloud Academy. If I want to be very specific, I can go to activities and I can look at all the time spent from each single member of that team. Even more, if I'm interested in a single member, I can actually click on that and get all the activities for that single person. In this case, for example, Fiona doesn't have any activity right now. As you are seeing, while I'm showing you that, I can select also AWS, so I can basically filter by single platform, and I can have a complete overview, for example, about the last year, and not only about the last 30 days, and divide that by week or by month. In any moment, I can actually download a CSV, so depending on the uh, team or uh, member that I'm looking at inside Cloud Academy, I can download a CSV with all the information about that person. Going back to the organization, as you can see, I have all the list of members at this, in this part of the page, and some of them are administrators, some of them are team manager, some of them are general manager. So the administrator is the role that we use uh, for the company uh, account ownership. So basically the one that is modifying the settings inside a company, inviting people and creating managers. The team manager is the single person responsible for each single team. So I can assign a team manager, for example, for my team United States. And that person, Alexa in this case, will be able to, sh will be able to see all of the statistics and reports and information for that team. And then we have general manager. So I can promote, for example, Alexa to be a general manager. And a general manager is, like, is close to an administrator, but she can create also teams, and she can manage all the people at a general, in a general level. So she can, for example, look at all the statistics for every team. In any case, I can modify a role, as you've seen right now from here. So again, for Alice, I can promote her to admin or I can modify this, promoting him to general manager, and so on and so forth. For each single member, as you can see, I can also view the report from here. Now, what happens if I need to invite more people? So as soon as you enter inside our account, the first thing that you will do is actually inviting your team. And you can do that in a very simple way. So in this case, I can invite a few people in my team, right at Cloud Academy. I can invite Marco. I can invite Bessie and maybe Franco. And as you can see, I have 135 people left that I can invite, and one guy that I already invited and is pending for confirmation. I can use the welcome message to send them an email and an invitation, or I can modify it. Hey guys, join Cloud Academy. And I can send them invitations. So immediately I will see if my team is joining Cloud Academy or not. All of them, of course, are pending. But as soon as they join the company, I will see them as active. And in any case, I can go back to reports and analytics and have the entire overview for the company. So if I am a general manager, or if I am, for example, an administrator, I can see immediately what's going on inside our company account for every team and from, for every user invited. And again, I can select, for example, a single provider. In this case, we don't have so much data in this example account. On settings, I can modify the logo of my company, I can modify the name of my company, and of course I can provide more information like the URL that I want to use for my company and the website that is uh, connected to that.
coming back to our presentation, I want to show you what's next for Cloud Academy. So we have a dedicated team inside our engineering product team that is developing this version of Cloud Academy. And the next big thing that we are gonna release is the enterprise content and scenarios for teams. So basically content that will be dedicated only to enterprise customers. We are gonna work on path and exams for your company. So being able actually to produce single paths and exams specifically for your company starting from the Cloud Academy content. Something that you can use, for example, to test specifically your team on a specific topic or on a specific platform, or something that you can use to put together, for example, a list of learning paths or a list of laboratories that you want to uh, show to your company account. Something that is very important for our customers on the enterprise side is having data collection and visualization of the progress for their members. So something that we are doing is integrating our cloud rank system. So making sure that you can visualize everyone, everyone's progress inside your company and making sure that you can have a leaderboard to understand who is performing better than anyone else inside a company. Or for example, who are the 10 uh, best members inside your team. Talking about the pricing, uh, Cloud Academy for Teams starts at uh, 495 uh, USD dollars per person a year. And of course we have available volume discounts uh, for big teams and for uh, companies that are gonna onboard more people inside their accounts. Uh, with Cloud Academy for Teams, you can get access to all the new content and updates immediately. So whenever you are inside a team, you will see immediately all the new content and all the new updates that we publish for that across all the products. And of course, you can get exclusive access to all the new features that we release. So some of them, if you are an individual, are on our starter or professional plan. With the Cloud Academy for Teams version, you will get access always to all of them. A couple of important things about it is actually that you get dedicated support from our team so you can reach out to Cloud Academy uh, in any moment and get dedicated support from, our, from one of our account managers. And of course, if you are interested in reselling Cloud Academy and become a partner with Cloud Academy, we have a special program for that. So you are able to offer Cloud Academy for Teams also to your customers or clients. And I think that's really it. So it's really the time for question from you guys and making sure that we can give you more information about Cloud Academy. So I have a few questions. Let me see. So what kind of content is included in Cloud Academy for Teams? As I said, uh, all the content that we publish is automatically included in Cloud Academy for Teams. So basically all the content models for AWS, for Azure Today, for Google and DevOps will be available immediately for Cloud Academy for Teams. And in general, everything that we publish or every new updates that we publish will be available for Cloud Academy. Can I, uh, can I onboard more people after I started Cloud Academy for Teams? Yes, so in any moment you can, actually, you can actually add more people inside your company account. As I shown you before, you can use uh, our specific section and invite more members. So even if you start, for example, with 50 people, after a couple of months, you can go there and invite more people inside that account. And of course, you can move them to specific teams uh, as well. Other questions? I think this is it. Uh, okay, any hints about how to control courses, pose, rewind, and Sarah? So yeah, basically you can do that uh, as you do in the normal version of Cloud Academy, in the regular version. So for each course, you can basically uh, pause a course and go back to your dashboard and see that course as pending. So I can show you that 
immediately inside Cloud Academy. Here's my account. I can go to my dashboard. And I have a few things that are pending. In this case, for example, I have the advancing availability on AWS course that I completed at 40%, so I can click on that and resume the course. Uh, the same thing for a study session, so for quizzes, and of course for learning paths. Can you show an example of a course quiz? Sure. I can actually show you a course, for example. In this case, I have all the courses. Those are the latest published. I can start with analytics fundamentals. This is a course. You have a few lectures here, so it's really divided by lecture. And I can start every single lecture. I can decide the quality of the video, the speed, and for some of them, this one is actually just being released. I have, of course, also the captions. Let me show you that. So in this case, I have all CD subtitles. For a quiz, the way it works is basically on study mode and test mode. So I can select, for example, Amazon Web Services. In the study mode, it's really designed for people to study and read more about explanations. In the test mode, it, you have a timer and it's used to test yourself. Study mode, for example, I say I'm an intermediate and I want to learn more about compute. And this is how it works. So I can see the explanation for each question. And for each session, I have 15 different quizzes. At the end, I can look at the results from my session and restore my session. So go back to that or create a new session. Is Cloud Academy built on AWS or Google Cloud Platform? Good question. We use AWS for most of our services, but we also use uh, other platforms and other vendors for a few smaller projects today. Can you list quizzes related to a particular course? So the way quizzes works is actually um, a bit different. So we include quizzes inside the learning paths, and the way learning paths work today is basically a mix of labs, courses, and quizzes. So that's a guided way for you to learn something about a specific topic using all the three of them. And I think that's it for today. Uh, our team is gonna send you the recording of this webinar today. And of course, we are available for more questions at support at cloudacademy.com. You can find all the information about the version of Cloud Academy for teams at cloudacademy.com slash enterprise. And of course, you can request a free trial of our solutions with a seven day trial for your team. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye.